Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to calculate student grades on the basis of their mark using five different powerful Excel formulas. We will explain you this calculation using if function, ifs function, switch function, vlookup, and xlookup function. As you are seeing my screen, we have here student name and their marks. And we have to calculate the grades on the basis of this table. Here in this table, we have the marks. Whenever marks is less than 35, then the grade will be F. If it is less than 50, then it will be E. Similarly, less than 70, D, less than 80, C, less than 90, B, equal to and greater than 90 will be E. So we have to calculate this here using this mark. First of all, I will explain you how we can achieve this using the nested if function. So let's start. Here I am using the if function a and we will put the logic, the first logic which is less than 35. So let's take b3 which is the marks for the first employee. If b3 is less than 35, then we will take the grade as f inverted comma comma we will put another if condition now the second if condition that will be if b3 is less than 50 this time we will take 50 then grade will be e similarly another if condition if b3 is less than 70 then grade will be d again if b3 is less than 80 then grade will be C and A, B3 is less than 90, then grade will be B, comma B. In the else case, we can take grade as A and just close the bracket and hit the enter. So we missed the comma here. This is the common mistake while putting the nested if function. So after B3 is less than 80, then we have to put a comma here to separate this and here also. Alright, we can fill this down and we can see this student is getting F, this is C, this is again F and here we have A which is greater than 90, it is 96. Okay. Now let's see how we can do it using ifs function which is new function and it is available in Excel 2019 or greater version so we can use here if function it is easy to use in comparison of the nested if function so here we can use ifs and then we will take simple logic like b3 is less than 35 then simply put here f and now we don't need to put another if condition we can simply provide the logic Okay, and that logic is V3 is less than 50, then we will take here E. Another logic B3 is less than 70, comma D. And similarly, we can put the other condition. We can copy this one also and let's put here B3 is less, less than 80. Take here C, paste again and let's take here 90 and take here B. Alright. Now for the else condition, we can use here true. Okay. And after true, we can put our else condition that is A. So we have put the condition for all and for else condition, we are taking here A and just hit the enter. Let's fill down. Here you can see. We are getting the same result. It is more easier to use in comparison of normal nested if function. Alright. I will show you how you can achieve this using the switch function now. Switch function is also the similar function. Although we can copy this syntax which we have used. And same we will use in the switch function. Let me show you. Let's use here switch. First, we need to provide the expression. If we are comparing with other simple logic, then we can take that cell reference. 
here we will take true because we are comparing with the greater than or less than condition so let's use here true and comma and you can paste the same syntax which we have used in the if and let's close the bracket and hit the enter we are getting the same thing and fill this down okay even you don't need to use the true here and you can delete this and again you can fill this down all right so we are getting the same thing here let me explain you this once again first we are putting here expression as true then value 1 if v is less than 35 then result 1 will be this one and then again value 2 result 2 value 3 result 3 all right similarly we are taking here and here we are using the default value now let's see how we can achieve this using the vlookup okay we have already created this grid table in the ascending order we have the marks here okay so we can use the vlookup function here vlookup and lookup value we will take marks comma table array let's select this range and freeze this press f4 to freeze this comma 2 comma here in place of exact match means in place of 0 we will use here 1 or true okay either you can take here true or you can take here 1 don't take here 0 okay now let's fill this down you can see we are getting the same grades we can achieve this using the x lookup also let's use here x lookup lookup value let's take this one lookup array we will take only marks here this one press f4 to freeze this comma return array we will take the grades because we have to return from the grades press f4 to freeze this comma if not found we are not taking anything here and match we are taking here exact or next smaller item means minus one here and just close the bracket and hit the enter you can see we are getting the same result here all right friends so friends these are five formulas i have explained you how we can achieve the students grade using these formulas you can practice them to learn more and you can visit our website to learn more excel formulas and we have explained in detail syntax parameters then we have provided the multiple examples also how you can achieve them and also we have mentioned the tips and tricks, limitation and the common error and their solution, the best practices and the relevant formulas and as well as we have mentioned that frequently used with the formulas and the frequently asked question. You can quickly jump to the other formulas we have given more than 100 formulas here. I will provide you this link in the video description box. So friends, you can comment me which formula you like most easy to create the grades on the basis of student marks which one you like more i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching